Well, hey everybody, welcome back to Palm Tree Life. I'm Tim, and we are in college basketball 2022 from Draft Day Sports. We are Florida Gulf Coast Eagles, and we are about to take on the conference schedule. So let's get into it. All right, so I'm having to make some choices here in this playthrough, and I think I'm going to, I'm, I'm trying to feel my way through how to play, uh, kind of how to uh, post these videos. And if you want to see absolutely every play of every game, I will do it. Uh, so far, the, the low amount of feedback I've gotten has basically said, don't do that. It's uh, basically been, hey, I don't care about every single uh, possession on the court just show me what happened and move forward so we're going to try to make it through the conference schedule I'm probably not going to show every game I will show you what happened and I'll try to give you big updates maybe if there's like a really big game like we need to win to kind of win our conference or something like that I'll show that but otherwise we're just going to um, roll through and play so I'm going to do some stuff in the background to set up strategy and things like that. If you want to see some of those things, uh, like something I'm not showing, if you want to see it, all you have to do is tell me. I'll make sure I show you in upcoming videos. And another question that was asked is, am I only doing one season or am I planning on going forward with a, a coaching career? I am planning on following this coaching career all the way through. So uh, if you stick with this, we'll go season after season. I plan on just keep going uh, several seasons. So. That is the plan. I thought I'd give you a quick update. We're six games into our conference. We are four and two. We're one game back behind Liberty. Liberty absolutely torched us. Uh, but we just destroyed somebody. Uh, North Alabama, we just absolutely destroyed them. So just a quick update where what has happened so far. So we started here with Jacksonville. We beat them. That was a really close game. We barely pulled off Kennesaw State. Liberty destroyed us. North Florida destroyed us. Then we handled Stetson and North Alabama really, really well. If you can see, uh, Cotton here had, was our high score, but he did that all in like junk minutes because uh, we were absolutely <laughs> destroying them. So uh, that is probably about it right now. We'll jump back in here after a few more games, maybe at the end of the season. So quick update, got five games left. We lost two here to Bellarmin, Bellarmine, Bellarmine, I don't know, and Lipscomb. I cannot believe we lost. They're not that good. Altoff had an amazing game. He had a double-double here, and we destroyed Jacksonville State, which I wanted to see. Have we played them yet? We have not played them yet, so we're only going to play them once. All right, because they were pretty hand handy. I have started upping my tempo and that has helped a little bit and uh, let me show you my roster real quick because I've started playing where is he Alan Arden I know he's one star and one star but this dude has been scoring like it doesn't look like he's a scorer but he's been scoring a lot of points lately and he's a good defender so it's weird to me maybe it's the athleticism just being a 79 I'm trying to pay attention to what type of stats really help somebody. Because when you look at this player's stats, game logs, here we go. When you look at his game logs, I've been giving him a lot more minutes here. And you can see points, 13, 12, 9, 11, 8, 14, 9. Like he's been doing really, really well. His plus minus, he, is, he was minus in the two games we lost. But he was plus... Um, and when you look at so shot chart, he tends to be inside, and he does shoot a lot inside. He's terrible out here. Um, and I wanted to see how do I? I don't think he's got any ratings progressions yet. Yeah, let's go to stats because I wanted to show. He seems to be really good at keeping people from driving. So drive percentage here. So Altov's really good at that. But here you go, Arden right there. When Arden and James, they play together. When they are on the floor together, they are pretty good. On the basic stats, though, I want to see turnovers. Yeah, 
see my point I don't have a really good ball handler and it's just killing me I, mean, I could try art in there maybe but where's my assist yeah James is the best I got he's got two assists to one turnover kind of uh, but he's the best that I have my high score right now is Altoff and he he comes off the bench he still comes off the bench does amazing um, maybe I should start him, but he, he really does do amazing off the bench. And then you can see here, inside, we're doing just fine. And then when you get out, there's Millsap. 3 to 10. Robbie Gates doesn't count. He doesn't play that much. It's still my big guys. And then when you come out 10 to 16, you got Jackie Williams. And none of my guys are that good here. Three-point shot, Jackie Williams is the best. They're, none of them are that good. And three-point shot, John Cotton. All right. He's good. That is three-point. Three-pointers attempted. Oh, I want the percentage. I don't want attempted. Here we go. Am I looking at that right? Shooting stats. Field goal percentage from three point range. There we go. So Cotton, James, Williams, Edwards, Morrison. Interesting. All tops, not that good. So we're okay. Uh, we're okay. But we got to get into it in the standings. We're still in second. We're tied for first, actually. So I think when it says top three, I think it means on my side of the conference, my division, the East Division. So right now that would be true with five games to go. So we'll check back in here when I have uh, completed this season. We'll see if it comes down to the last game or not. Who do, do I play Liberty again? That's probably something to check. I do. So we'll see where we're at for that game. And maybe I'll check in at that point. I did want to show the polls. So... You can see Duke, Arizona, Ohio State, Kansas, Michigan State, and Kansas State, and UCLA. They're all kind of right there. Gonzaga's up there. And then on the net rankings, you see us right here, 95. So we are really, we're on the verge of a tournament somewhere. So here we've got the bubble watch. Doesn't look. We beat Dixie State. They're on the bubble watch. They're, they are currently in. Liberty's probably in for us somewhere. Or not. Apparently they're not adding in those types of things, I guess. Whatever. Who's out? We are right now, then, for sure. It doesn't list us. Okay, so that's the who's in, who's out. We'll pay attention to it as we keep going. Well, we played Liberty again, and we got beat again. <laughs> so, uh, man, Arden has really come on, though. 17 points. Like, he's done really, really well, but we just we don't have the team, I don't think, this year. Uh, right now in the standings, we're third. If we win one of our last two, we'll lock up a top three spot, which is what we need to do as a coach. Um, but in the tournament, we are in trouble. <laughs> so we'll see where it goes. Uh, I don't think we're going to go very far this year, though. We'll wrap it, we'll wrap it up. We'll see where we are. I'll, I'll jump back in at the tournament time. All right, so we get a first round by. We're the four seed. I don't know if that means we're top three or not, because technically being the four seed means you aren't top three. Does it say in our office if we accomplished it or not? Yeah. Uh, we did win 10 plus games, finishing top three of conference. I don't know if, if we have accomplished that or not. All right, we get to face Lipscomb. They beat us in our only game against one another this year it was at their place and they they beat us pretty soundly so and actually their top scorer was in foul trouble the whole game so 
see if we can pull this off and uh, hopefully advance. Well, we get to play Central Arkansas for the our semifinal matchup. We did beat them in the regular season, so we have a shot at the, against them. But look at this, Kennesaw State, the 10 seed, <laughs> coming out of nowhere. They beat Liberty, and they play the 6 seed. So if we win this, man, we got a really, really good shot, although North Florida has destroyed us every time we played them. But we have a really good shot at getting the automatic bid into the tournament. So that will be interesting to see if we can pull that off. Well, it wasn't to be. Central Arkansas beat us by three. Just couldn't pull it out. So that's probably our year. We'll see about the tournaments. Uh, but Kennesaw State, so let's just let's go ahead and sim this and just see who wins the conference championship. Central Arkansas. So our one seed one. They go on to the national tournament. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the uh, selection show go. I'm probably even going to take myself off camera, just let the selection show. So if you've never seen it before, I think it's a cool thing that they added into the game. So I want to show it off. So that's probably the next thing you'll see here. I think the fact that they have the play in games is pretty cool. So that's a nice feature that they added in. Maybe one day we'll sneak in there. <laughs> Just not right now. So Duke is the one seed. Kansas State's the two seed. We need to see where uh, Central Arkansas ends up since they are our one seed. Georgetown. Gonzaga against Princeton. <clears throat> Utah State and Howard. That feels like one of those five twelves where Howard could get the win. Probably should have just hit next game instead of auto run. But, yeah, we know it for next time. They switched it up a little bit for this year. I like that they make little tweaks every single year to make it a little bit better. Yeah, Central Arkansas, they're a 10 seed. That's impressive that our the winner of our conference came out as a 10 seed. 
So I wonder if if we won, then we might have been like a 12 or a 13 seed. So we would have played Gonzaga or Utah State. I would have felt pretty confident going against Utah State. I don't know about Gonzaga. They probably would have destroyed us. But Utah State I would have been pretty confident with. Cal State Northridge was a 9 seed. Man, these feel... Feels like there's some generous uh, seeding here. Bradley. So Arizona's the Arizona and Auburn were the one and two seeds. Notre Dame. And who's the four seed? Villanova. So a lot of familiar faces in these tournament or in this tournament so far. Miami. Ooh, against Cincinnati or Oregon. That feels like a 12 seed that could definitely get an upset right there. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> it's a dangerous matchup matchup for sure. St. Francis, New York is a six seed against Oral Roberts. Interesting. LSU and Jacksonville State. Jacksonville State's from our... They're from our conference. We got two, two of them in? No way. I'm pretty sure... I mean, we. I think we beat Jacksonville State in our conference. Man. I mean they were they were the second best team. I think they were the two seed in our conference. That feels weird. So maybe there's a little bit messed up in in the ranking side of things cuz that feels really high. UCLA, Ohio State's the one seed. Memphis and Massachusetts Lowell. Indiana and UAB. Baylor's going to beat whoever comes out of that 12 seed. I can tell you that for sure. This makes me think just getting more wins is better than getting good wins based off how I'm seeing this get seeded. Something to remember for next year's schedule. I mean, I'm have based off what I'm seeing here, I have confidence I'm going to make some tournament. I hope I get to make a tournament. Tennessee against Illinois, that'll be a good game. Vanderbilt and Fresno State. Oh, last bracket. Kansas. Michigan State. I haven't seen Iowa yet. I wonder if I... I'm pretty sure Iowa won the Big Ten. Arkansas against West Carolina. Purdue. Maybe Purdue won the Big Ten tournament. I tend to be a Big Ten guy, so I pay attention to that conference specifically. 
It wouldn't surprise me if I end up there at some point. Ooh, SIUE. Uh, that was from our first playthrough in last year's game in Kentucky. North Carolina. There's Iowa. Lots of Big Ten teams in this bracket. Michigan. Holy cow. One, two, three... Four Big Ten teams. And Alabama against Virginia Tech. Okay, we made the CBI tournament as a three seed in the East region. All right. Well, I will gladly accept that because I want to make something. So we'll see how far we can get. We play St. Mary's out of the gate, so they should be pretty tough. I thought I'd show off the <clears throat> scouting report for St. Mary's uh, simply because it is a tournament game. So you can see they pretty much have the advantage, although my center, they're saying my center has the advantage, their bench has the advantage. Um, if you looked at the ranked opponents that they play, they got killed by Duke. They played okay against Kentucky. They beat number one Arizona. And Arizona, it's not like Arizona was number one and then they fell off. Arizona's a one seed in the NCAA tournament this year. So they are plenty good. And then they beat Gonzaga at home. So these guys can play. I don't know how they're the six seed and we're the three seed, but they are. <laughs> and we'll see how far we can get. And I'll let you know what happens here in just a moment. We got a win. 73-66. I cannot believe we won that. Let's check the box score. So we were losing by 11 at halftime. We destroyed them in the second half. So did yeah, Felix, 18 points. So they were right. We had the advantage there. Um, they, got a, they had a guy with 22 points. So they definitely had the advantage elsewhere. But... We got the job done. That's all of, That's all that really matters. So let's see who we take on for our... Se Ooh, Lamar, the seven seed, beat Hawaii. All right, so we face Lamar. All right, so Lamar, they say they have the advantage at center this time. We have it at power forward, and then we're just kind of straight up the rest of the way. So we will see uh, how this game goes. And I'll let you know after where we see the result. Not so fortunate in this game. We lost by seven. So, tough break. Uh, I want to see, though, if uh, there were any major upsets in the NCAA tournament. So, here we go. We've got the, what is this, Bo Boston, Re Boston region. So, this would be round of 64, 32. So this is your sweet 16. So Connecticut is a seven seed snuck in there on the sweet 16. St. Francis, New York is in on the sweet 16. That's awesome. Man, the 14 seed beat Notre Dame. That's pretty cool. Uh, Vanderbilt beat Ohio State. Uh, I'm an Ohio State fan, so that doesn't make me happy. <laughs> but um, San Jose... That's pretty much chalk. I get Michigan beat uh, Michigan State as a big rivalry game to go to the Sweet 16. And Arizona made it there. Okay, cool. Uh, I, so what I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to play out the rest of these tournaments, but then I'm going to wait on the offseason stuff till next time. So let's see uh, kind of who wins the titles, and then we'll wait to do the, the rollover into next season in the next episode. So I'll jump back on here to let you see who wins all these tournaments. So your NCAA Final Four for this season is Duke, Villanova, UCLA, and Kansas. Weird enough, this year, I mean, it's 2022, this year pretty much ended almost with this. North Carolina's not in there, but other than that, it ended kind of with these four teams, which is really weird and interesting. I guess they got the stats on these guys pretty accurate. So uh, let's see who wins. So Duke wins the title and beats UCLA in the finals. 
let's see who else won. So the NIT, San Diego State destroyed North Carolina A&T. In the CBI, what we were in, Pepperdine beats Marshall. And the CIT, Davidson beats South Carolina. So that is our title winners. So we've got our title winners. We'll check out like the end of season awards and stuff in our next episode. We'll also do the off season, roll into the next season. And if we can make it far enough uh, in time, we'll do the non-conference schedule again. But we'll definitely get through recruiting and the transfer portal and things like that. So I uh, hope, uh, hope you're enjoying this playthrough. If you have feedback, please give it. If you uh, have suggestions on how to make this series better, I want... I do want some sports series in with my strategy. Like I, that is an area I like in the strategy side of things. So, if you have suggestions on what would make this playthrough even better, I, I am game. I, I want to know what you guys want to see. So, and I'll try to show more of it. So, uh, all that being said, thank you so much for engaging, for letting me know um, just how this is uh, connecting with you. I appreciate all of you that watch these episodes. It really does. Uh, it, it, it's exciting to know that people are interested in the things that I'm interested in. So uh, I'm glad that you're enjoying it, and I will see you next time.